Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. A couple of rolls ago, I think it was number 114, I set myself a new record and then in the comments some of you said wonderful things about other improvements I could make to that strategy to improve my record score even further. So I'm gonna build myself a 97 here, which I'll do with a jump cut because you've seen me do it a thousand times before. And then I'm gonna attempt to try and beat my previous high score with a similar sub similar strategy of sevens but with extra accoutrement on top now the problem i might face is that in that run with the incredibly good score that i did we had exceptional rng on the shop for things like the passives that i needed all around the same time so they didn't get extraordinarily expensive but we'll see what we can do today. So I'll see when I'm all set up with my first couple of dice. Alrighty. We have 410 rolls spent. And if we look at our dice, we have a 97. All of these guys have single reroll, double reroll, double reroll, double reroll, single reroll. So that's nice a start on getting that to rerolling universally. And then the two dice that we've added from coming up from our first shop upgrade and our second shop upgrade, I've put a seven on each of those as well. So the next thing I want is a multiplier for my 97, as that's going to be where my base scoring starts. And I want that really to be a set all die faces onto there. That is not a shop refresh generator, that is a die adder. Right, this is where part of my brain goes, do you get settled die faces at this tier of shop or is it the next tier of shop? Right, we are also going to need some more dice, although I think this is too expensive right now for what it is. I also do want numeric 11 because eventually we're going to have a run of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we want this numeric 11 somewhere and we can just stash it here for now. Uh, six times reroll in duplicate. That's what I'm looking for. On this tier of shop, normally I would be looking for six times reroll in duplicate. And then it's the next tier of shop I would be looking for... Um, Settle die faces. Well, since we're here, let's get that going. Let's upgrade the shop again. And I fear that mistake is already going to set me back quite far. Right, there's settle die faces. We're going to set that center die to all 97s. If it's really fast to buy it, I will get that die re-rolling in triplicate as well. Because that's just worth so much score to us. I want some better passives right now. I'll buy a regular die, that's cheap. And then I want these arrows. But they're very expensive and we haven't got any passives to increase our scoring yet. So I'm going to hold off on those. Hope I don't regret it. I am going to buy clovers immediately. They're very cheap and they will be very important down the line. So a clover there. Numbers less than 13, 1000% bonus is the perfect single passive for us to pick up right now. Expensive, but hopefully that's going to do a lot of work for us. I'll take a settle die faces as our score is now going to be much higher for a lot of the numbers that we're generating. Let's take five plain dice right now as well. So that's 10 dice. We're ultimately working up to 16 dice because 16 is four squared. Let's take a plus four on here to make a seven. Uh, let's take a plus eight on here to make a nine. 
Nothing else here that I need desperately. Although that is like one roll away. So we'll get that. Pick it on one of those. Right. Shop refresh generators we definitely need. We don't have any buy one get ones to work with yet. Which is a shame. But we are going to need as many shop refreshes as possible going forward. I'm going to buy no weights plus 200% just to get this 97 scoring a little higher. God, that was way more expensive than I really wanted it to be. Then we'll get this arrow going over here because that's where that's going to eventually want to be anyway. So we won't have to move that around later. A plus three can give us not very much of use. We'll put a seven here. We may be able to shift that off in a little while. A 10x multiplier is certainly going to be worthwhile, I think. Let's start with the cheaper ones, because we're going to buy all of these multipliers for our 97. Just so that that die is generating as much value as possible for us. Good. Then something re-rolling extra. Let's go for this die of all sevens. I want the shop refresh modifier re-rolling in triplicate, really. Shop weight. I don't want any of these things in particular to be shop weighted. Doubles, square bonuses. How many dice do we have? Ten. We can take the square bonus because it's cheapest as it's ever going to be right now. And it's not going to imply any extra scoring until we hit 16 dice so it can just sit there in the background doing nothing until we hit 16 dice in which case it will start becoming effective uh, I am going to take these voids now I know I just added some multipliers to these 97s but we're going to take these voids and put them on the worst multipliers on that face. I'm going to take primes plus 300% as well because I think we're still spending a lot of rolls per individual um, purchase we need to make. But I think we should be good for a good while now. So I want to see more shop refreshes. I don't need more passives. I will take Scavenger. Nice and cheap. Shop Refresh Adder can go up here. I'm going to pull off one of these sevens to somewhere else. I'm going to stick a 10x modifier on here. I can surely pull something else to somewhere useful. Uh, we've got an 11 and a 7 here, so let's pull the 11 there. Now, the 4x we can afford immediately. I'm not going to take more passives because the more score we generate, the more expensive stuff becomes. So we're trying to ride that line very carefully. Clovers are an instant purchase. Um, let's get this re-rolling in duplicate for now. I would like to see a couple of buy one get one freeze. And now that'll have to do. Uh, we can probably add a four to itself somewhere or something. We've got nine done. We've got sevens. We've got eleven. So let's double this five into a ten. We can move that off eventually. So nothing else on this tier or this round of shop there's re-roll and triplicate we'll put that immediately on our shop refresh add a die set all die faces for 11s there then I definitely want this arrow do I have somewhere to start building those great question not really 
everything is kind of prescribed. This is, we need five dice of sevens. So this will be one eventually. This is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. So we need more dice because every die at the moment has its specific purpose. So I'm gonna just buy this and then I'm immediately gonna put this arrow on the generator face because I don't want it generating random dice for me. That is not something that I want. But it was nice of it to put that die exactly where I needed it to be. Certainly can't complain about that. We need all of these that we can get for now. Any other numbers we need to create specifically? We've got 77777. Then we do not have an 8. This is a 9. There's a 10 there that can be moved off. There's an 11. So I need to make an 8 somewhere. 3 plus 5 is 8. So we'll pull that off to another place as soon as it's convenient. Let's buy a dice to put that on. Oh, I'm done. That die has an 8 on it already. So... That's convenient. Right, set all die faces again. So let's do that for the eight. Then another void is going to go in the center here. Oh, I'm dumb. That was the clover die, not the center die. It's fine, we can move that void over and we didn't overwrite anything that was integrally important. It'll just be a tiny extra cost later. I'm gonna take the even bonus just because we're gonna have some small numbers in our runs. So the eights and the tens basically. So let's just count again. Seven, 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 seven. Then this is eights, this is nines. There's a 10 then that needs to move. This is 11. So the 10, there's an eight there, there's a 10 there. And we need, this is nine, 10, 11, 12 dice. We need four more dice. So let's buy this. And then I'm gonna stick this 10 on there. That way we don't have to move another one off. Right, nothing else here for now. Shop refresh adder goes on here. Something re-rolling in triplicate. You're re-rolling in triplicate. You're re-rolling in triplicate. We're going to need this clover die re-rolling in triplicate eventually. That's going to be incredibly important. Uh, two more dice I think we can get away with. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... And then we get one more die when we upgrade the shop, and that will be this one here. So we do not purchase any more dice, ever. Uh, I'll take a 10x somewhere. Stick that on there. So we need lots of clovers, lots of arrows, and some set die faces and stuff. So let's hunt for all of that stuff for a minute. I do need another one of you. You're going on there. Uh, 50% even bonus I will buy because we're going to have a couple of even numbers, but also it means that we don't see this in the re-rolls that we do in the future, which is going to be beneficial for us. Now, we need to move some of our dice around, so let's start working on that. I've got the uh, the screenshot of the very near end game stuff on my other monitor from the end of the last run, so I can use that as like a template. So I'm going to put this here. Uh, plus fours and plus sevens, I don't think we need for anything. Arrow, absolutely. Easy purchase. Uh, 
I'm going to buy a six. I'm going to put a six on here. Is it going to go here? Yes. I'm going to put a six on there. That will be useful later. The rest of this we don't need. Arrow, again, we do want. Go there. This seven, I'm going to purchase and I'm going to put here. We can move a whole die. What do we need to move where? You're fine. You're fine. So this wants to be clovers. And then these want to be sevens around it. So. This move to yeah. Don't want more passives yet. We can stick this. Oh, but let's not bother. That's fine. Right, we got some extra rerollers. There's a shop refresh generator. Want that in play, obviously. Uh, so your rerolling in triplicate. You're re-rolling once. Let's get that re-rolling in triplicate. And we'll get that re-rolling in duplicate for now. Eventually, I would like a universal re-roller. But that will come in time. Buy one, get one free. I'll buy one of those. So when we buy something now, one thing in the shop that is cheaper than that thing will become free. The numeric only multipliers are going to be important later, but not yet. None of this seems particularly pertinent. Back to 50 multiplier it is a big one. It's a hard one to pin down. I will buy it now. Uh, immune 99s. Numeric 99s are immune to the effects of diruses and viral die quantity multipliers. Don't need it. Gonna buy it because it costs one. Takes it out of the pool. Uh, I want arrows. I'm gonna buy the most expensive thing first, which is this. I'm gonna put you on there. Then it did not make this free, but that's fine. Not always going to make stuff free. 10 is the smallest number on those. I don't need a plus 3. 6 times reroll in triplicate. Let's get... Uh, you're done. Let's do... That die there. Still need to set a lot of stuff to 7. Might as well start building that manually for really cheap because we can. Yeah, because we've got 10 or we're sitting on 8 million, we'll take a plus 10x multiplier. Go on there. Don't need more dice. Shop refresh generator. We'll finish that die out as soon as we can. Oh, look. We don't have to think about that anymore for a while. 10x more can go on there. But we still need some of these arrows. Still need a lot of clovers. Haven't seen a lot of clovers yet. Uh, this was put in the wrong spot. Can go to here. That seven is now sorted. Glue, I don't want to screw around with yet. Uh, swapping a die to a different location. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, you need to be sevens. So, we've got one, two, three, four. Where's our fifth die with sevens on it? Is it this one? It might be that one. Then we can swap something for free. What's that going to be to wear? That's a great question. 11. 
Is this going to be our tens? Did I? Oh, that would be tens. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. So I think we're actually all right for swapping stuff around for now. So we can cancel that off. All right. I need loads of clovers. I need some arrows. I don't need more 11s. I don't need to move anything off of a specific die, I don't think, because you're going to be 10s. You've got a 7, you've got a 7, you've got a 7, you are 7s, you are 7s. That's fine. All right, then. So now we're really just hunting down for a lot of the other elements we need. That die is nearly complete. That's lovely. Just see if this thing on my phone is important. It is not. Where else do we need stuff? Six times reroll and triplicate. We still need those basically everywhere. But if we can find a universal reroller, that's going to be better. Uh, I'm going to buy this just to keep our scoring ticking upwards. That's a 50 million point roll. That's pretty good going. Reroll in triplicate for that seven there. That will be important. Don't need more voids. Do want more clovers. What I really need is a shop weight and a clover. This is all lottery reroll stuff that we don't need. could take more of these but I think I'm just going to hold off until we get more of the other elements that we need in place I'm just going to start working bottom to top now setting stuff to reroll in triplicate as we go none of this is clovers arrow we definitely want there's two of them there Buy the more expensive one first, on the off chance that it makes the other one free, because we have one bow go in play. It did not. It's fine. We'll take that, because it's very cheap. Come on, Clovers. Normally when I complain a bit, the game gives me the things I want. But I'll try and not complain too much. I'm sure that's not fun for you guys to listen to. Uh, there's Lucky Sevens. This is incredibly important. So ignore the first bit. But additionally, numeric Sevens and 77s are worth 77 times more when orthogonally adjacent to a 4-leaf clover. Incredibly important for this run. So that's re-rolling in triplicate. That, 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 and that are all re-rolling in triplicate. You can re-roll in triplicate now. So we are looking for at least four more clovers. Because we want this die to be all clovers. Which is a big ask. But uh, it's basically what most of this strategy is based on. Hey! Right, there's... We do not have a shop weight in place, so we'll buy the expensive thing. See if the cheap thing becomes free. What's not re-rolling in triplicate here? You. That made that free, which was lovely. It was fairly cheap to begin with, but you know, these things happen. Nothing else here of desperate need. Move something. There's another reroll in triplicate. So if we get everything rerolling in triplicate, it's kind of like having a passive reroll in triplicate, except with the use of glue, I think is impacted negatively by the presence of a lack or by the lack of a presence of a reroll, universal reroller. 
But that's the whole thing. I'm going to buy a shop weight here. To buy a 10x multiplier. Because eventually, I would like to get some of these faces to a 99x multiplier. But to do that, you need a specific passive that lets your face multipliers stack together. I don't think I need any more of this arrow. I do not. I do want to set all die faces for some more numbers. Let's do this 7 here. And I want numbers less than 13 with an extra 500% value. I don't need more shop refresh generators. I don't need more arrows on this side. Though I don't need any of this stuff. Don't need more arrows. Don't need shop refresh generators. Let's get all of these re-rolling in triplicate. That will be very important once we get our run passives sorted. So this is a six. I would like somewhere just to be able to hold on to a numeric number five. We have one on the board somewhere on a dice that isn't set to everything yet. There's one there. If I can move that off somewhere, which I can, I will. I'm going to hold that over here with this six. That will become important later. This is cheap and free. Otherwise, we're okay. Don't need any of that stuff. Right, there's run length multiplier. Every die in a run will be multiplied by the quantity of dice in that run. So if our run is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then we will times everything by 5. So I will pick that up. I will also pick up this settled die faces. So we have 10 here that needs doing. Couple more left. Oh wait, I need this. Glad I didn't miss it. Still need loads of clovers. Loads and loads and loads of clovers. I'm going to take this because we'll have a 5 and a 10 eventually contributing extra to our score. Just clovers, man. Need clovers. Thank you. Wait, do we have a shop weight? We have two shop weights. Except I can't I can't buy a shop weight and another shop weight to get them both to contribute to this clover. But I can buy a clover with a shop weight, which helps. Anything else here? No. Right. None of this. We're done for arrows, right? Yes. In my original, I did have... Excuse me. I did have this pointing as arrows in this direction as well. So if I'm not using that die for anything else, I'll start building that up. As we find them. I don't need to move anything off. We could take more 10Xs, but really I just want to find more clovers. Do you have a shop weight? Do not. That's fine. Then settle die faces is important. Let's go with this 7 here. I don't need this 10. I don't need this 6. Uh, Reroll in triplicate for this 9. Square numbers plus 100% is going to impact us when we upgrade our shop so we get our final die which will be our 16th die there's a clover the shop weight pulling its weight now right we need that one re-rolling in triplicate and then what else this set to all sevens. 
this is spare holding on to a five and a six for now, which is good. That can stay as it is. This can be more arrows. Otherwise, I think we're pretty much getting to where we want to be, which is lovely. I'll take 100% extra for no 99s right now. There's another clover. So, what I'm going to do is what I, what I sacrifice. We're about to upgrade a shop to get another die. So we can do that. There's a set all die faces here. That can be this seven. So if we look over, we have one seven, two seven, three seven, four seven, five sevens. A die, an 8 full die, a 9 full die, a 10 full die, an 11 full die. I want to swap this 11 with this 10 because 11 is prime and is going to get more benefit from the arrow multipliers and such being up there. There's re-roll in triplicate for the 8. So that run will always be working on every roll now, which is huge. 5x multiplier can start going on here. All right, I think we're ready. Go to the next tier of shop. I want more arrows here. I want more clovers here, but that's not super important right now. Otherwise, a lot of other stuff is in place, which feels weird because our score hasn't ballooned yet, but we do have a lot of other passives and stuff to buy. So there is our 16th die. That's 9 in the center. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good. Uh, we can refresh this. Now we're going to see all kinds of new stuff available to us. Passive Hunter, I think it's a bit late for you, if I'm honest. I don't really know how much 1 million, billion, 1 trillion is right now in comparison to how much wealth we're holding. now looking for other important passives and such run multiplier add a every die in a run will be multiplied by the highest number in the run so this will multiply everything by 11 we have a clover which can go on this already has a six on it and a five so i'll just build this over here don't need the seven. Don't need this arrow. You can re-roll in triplicate just so you match everything else. I think that is all of our die. Dice re-rolling in triplicate. Three, 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 three. Three. Good. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, clover. Right, so. 10x's we could take, but I'm going to hold off on that because I want to get universal adders first. That's a lottery thing. We don't care about that. 200% for triplicates. Doesn't impact me greatly. What we want to see is the increased bonus points for Yahtzees. Uh, top three, massive. The three highest scoring dice will have their value multiplied by 10. All other dice will have their value cut in half. Uh, if you think about us currently having 16 dice doing scoring, if you imagine instead that our best three dice are worth 30 dice and our lowest 13 dice are worth nothing, then we have 30 dice doing scoring instead of 16 and 30 is better than 16. So we will buy this, given the current opportunity. Cleanse shop, uh, let's not do that. Right, set all thy faces. I will do that to the six up here. Six is obviously one less than seven, but that means that our runs will include a six in, which means that all of our 
dice will be multiplied by 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Multiplied by 6 instead of 5 because of the length of the run. Um, I'm also going to move this 5 onto this die of shop refresh adders. Now, we still have the number of the same number of shop refresh adders being rolled on average across all of our dice. It's just now one of them has moved, but that means I can set that die to be fives later on because five is less than 13, prime, divisible by five, and part of the run. So that will be good. Single group effect bonus. For each type of group effect, if you roll exactly one group, the value of all dice in the group will be increased by 300%. We are aiming to have a Yahtzee of sevens, that is five sevens rolled at once. And we won't have any other Yahtzees, so plus 300% to that Yahtzee every single time will be great. Plus 500% value for faces that have a lightweight bonus, well, we can buy that because none of our dice have light weights, but it also means it's not in the pool for purchasing later. Give me a 3x on here, sure. Right. Clover can go on there. 100% uh, bonus for numbers divisible by 5. We were just discussing that the 5 that we put at the very bottom of the run later will be uh, brain, 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 will be divisible by 5 and all the rest that we need. Otherwise, right now, we don't have any numbers to set being all the same so we don't need any more set all die faces there's a 10x here that's nice and cheap we will place that on yep yeah. uh, double the value of your highest scoring die obviously that's incredibly worthwhile to us uh, rigged machine we don't need because that is a lottery thing I'm going to move so right now this set of clovers is impacting this 7 this 7, this 7 and this 7 this 7 here is not being impacted by a clover so I'm going to move this die of partial clovers into this spot where it can impact that other die of sevens that currently does not have contributing sevens or contributing clovers to their sevens. Uh, single set bonus for 500% extra value is going to be really good once we do get those Yahtzees in place. Eventually, we are going to want to take these numeric only multipliers, but right now I still want the shop refresh adders doing their work because we have lots of things to look for and we're not even halfway through our rolls yet. There's another clover. The six can go because we built this die of sixes over here. There was more arrows to be purchased to supplement this here. We could glue some of those down given the opportunity really. Definitely think it's too late for Passive Hunter, even though it's going to keep serving it to me over and over again. Clover. I will keep the Shop Refresh adder there for a moment. That's fine. So now we're just looking for really good passives, basically. Yahtzee's re-rolling triplicate doesn't help us because all of our Yahtzee's are already re-rolling a triplicate. If we don't find some way to increase our score in our passive soon, we could get stuck not being able to earn enough to get to the extra stuff that we need, which could be a problem. Because right now our score is still a long way from where we eventually want it to get to. why we need these shop refreshes available to us because paying in points for shop refreshes isn't something that's very viable. No weights reroll in triplicate, 2.3 to the E16. We haven't even seen exponential numbers here up here yet. Um, 
If this gets to 10, does it go to that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that'd be, yeah, we need to get this number times 10. We need 10 times as many points as we currently have to get this working. Is that going to go well? No, that's going to be real expensive and I'm going to regret this immensely, aren't I? Oh, man. So, what this is effectively going to allow us to do, eventually, is glue down the 7 in the center so that it's always face up. There's 1.0 to the E16. We need this to get to 2.8 or something to the E16. And I worry that I have just completely wasted the last... 40 minutes on making this one decision badly which is so annoying we are stuck in our decision now maybe about 400 rolls left I think oh there you go so we have that now we have 96 shop refreshes though to look for stuff that we want it's just that that stuff is going to be real expensive. Numeric chain reroll, 2.3 to the E16. But the problem is our earning potential hasn't increased at all yet. We can buy this glue. I've completely, completely screwed the pooch on this one. Glue down this 7. Uh, no weights, plus 100%. These are all the things that we need now that we're not going to be able to afford because I've screwed up our earning economy so much on buying that passive reroll in triplicate. So today is not going to be the day of our new high score. I completely biffed it. We were doing so well on the arrangement of everything else, I think. But uh, not today. And I'm mad about it. All right then, well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. We will try something different next week and then eventually I'm gonna try and revisit this again to beat my high score before the new update to the leaderboard comes through. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you have any ideas that you'd like to see try and execute it, if, particularly if they don't involve hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dice, because I'm not very good at doing that, let me know in the comments below. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.